Yo, 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 good morning, what's good? It's 12.41 a.m. You know, I just got off work about like an hour and a half ago. Um, you gotta excuse the noise, I'm watching um, No Country for Old Men. You know, that's a classic movie right there. Even though it came out a couple years ago, but it's still a modern day classic. But anyways, um, yeah, uh, the title of the video, you guys just read the title, you guys know what I want to talk about. Um, I be getting a lot of questions like where you know where I get my CDs and stuff like that. So um, I'll give you some some of you guys um, pointers because I know some of you guys and I, I do appreciate the people that do ask me where I get the CDs because it shows that you know not only that I'm somewhat influential, but kind of like influential as far as like you know getting physicals because you know to me like the CDs themselves are is a dying is a dying. Um, form of music, you know, because now everybody's into the whole vinyl resurgence. Everybody's into the whole vinyl now, which I think is, <sighs> yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'll say that for another video because this whole vinyl resurgence thing is cool, but I'm just not feeling it. I'll, I'll, I'll make another video, video on that. But and don't get me wrong, I love vinyl, but I'll say that for another video. But you know, um, the CD format wise is a dying format you know what i mean because nobody's really buying cds no more that's except for people like me collectors like um me mike says hip-hop enthusiast shout to you uh ross hot ross hot hartley um you know a couple other cats joey hardman you know cats like that um you know people like that and then i could go on and on and on and on and on and the other you know great you know reviewers on YouTube like uh Mood Six One Six, shout out to him. Like he you know, he def I, his collection is crazy. If you guys haven't peeped his shit, you know, I'll post down in the description box. You guys need to subscribe to him because his collection is fucking crazy. Um yeah, because I look up to that dude man. Like his his collection is crazy. I've been collecting on and on on and off since two thousand, you know what I mean? So because there was a time period where I was just buying movies, you know. I'm, I'm big into horror movies. I don't know if you, if you guys noticed that. Like, I've said that in the past. Oh, I gotta do my, I gotta finish doing my movie collection, but I'll save that for a later date when, like, you know, I get my 15. When I, I could record over 15 minutes, so I'll wait. So I'll save that for another time, you know. Maybe by the end of this year, I'll probably do another video on that as well as like um some other stuff too. Even with the um. You know, with the I gotta. This is so much videos I gotta record. I, I gotta do, but you know, I will have to wait till you know I, the the my ban is lifted from the stupid ass copyright strike that I had. But getting back to what I was saying, like the CDs, like where I get my CDs, which well, I'll get to in a minute. But like I said, I've been collecting on and off since two thousand, um, around two thousand four, two thousand five. I kind of put a stop to buying CDs. Well, I I was buying CDs on and off, but I was more focused on horror movies, and then, and then I kind of stopped doing that because that just started getting very expensive. Because the DVD, and I wasn't even getting Blu-ray. Blu-ray was he, I think Blu-ray was out, but it was very new. I'm not sure. I think that was oh six, oh seven. I don't remember. But um, after a while, they just started getting really expensive. So I kind of had to put a stop to buying DVDs and shit. And eventually, Blu-rays started coming out, and he had HD DVDs, but HD they already. Really, it didn't really um, fly off like it should have. Blu-ray kind of, you know, knocked it out. So and Blu-ray ended up being better. But even though HD had good quality, but I think Blu-ray was a lot better. But um, although I, I do wish certain movies that are be it um, I wish a lot of the movies they would turn to the Blu-ray because there's certain movies that I want to see, but that the, but it's not on DVD or Blu-ray. It's only on VHS and vice versa. But get them out to the CDs um, and then on and then from then on I've been collecting CDs since so from 2000 all the way up to now but I had like a little break period like for a year and then I bought my CDs but where do I get my CDs um, I usually get them in music stores you know as you go to pawn shops I usually go to thrift stores you know um, all my people's in the because I know I have subscribers from the UK um, you guys out there, you guys call them charity shops. So, if you guys go to the charity charity shops, you know that's that's the thrift stores over there. That's what they call thrift stores or consignment stores, if you will. 
But um, if you go you go to the charity shops out there in the UK as well as Europe, I could imagine, you know, you be able to find some stuff. But also, you guys got to remember too. Also, another tip too is all about the um, uh, what's the word? Like the demographics of that store where it's located because, and. It, <sighs> I don't want to sound racist, but it's, I'm going to bring race to this, but more than likely, if you're in a black neighborhood, in, in an urban, I, I hate the word urban, but if you're in the inner city, then you're going to find, like, the good shit. But if you're, like, in the white neighborhoods and the suburbs and stuff like that, you know, you'll probably find some stuff here and there, but not very often. It just depends on the demographic. But sometimes it could be a major city, you know, it doesn't have to be a black neighborhood or a Spanish neighborhood, but... It's just if you're in like in a major city, you'll be able to find certain stuff. Also, too, don't depend on you know your local store. Sometimes you have to drive like an hour to, to a different county, a different town, um, a different city. Sometimes you might have to drive an hour, two hours, three hours to buy certain shit. And I've done that. Um, I haven't drove two hours. I want to do that. I eventually want to go to Orlando. Um, well, obviously, when that, all that shit dies down with that whole shit, but um, I know I could imagine over there being crazy right now. But um, oh, until that shit dies down, I want to hit, I want to hit up Orlando because I'm pretty sure Orlando will be having some shit. Um, being that as a major city and stuff like that, so I might hit that up. I be, I be hitting on like Broward, like Fort Lauderdale. They usually have some good shit there too. Um, flea markets, that's another spot you guys can go to. Flea markets. Um, like I said, pawn shop and those, and all my people from from here in the states, don't sleep on FYE because FYE be having some shit too. But again, it all boils down to the demographics of that neighborhood too. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, cause like I said, I've driven probably like an hour away from where I live, and then I found some shit because the FYE around my way sucks. Like it's very. It's very dry, you know what I'm saying? So sometimes I have to drive like 30 minutes away from where I live or, or an hour or an hour and a half just to get the good shit. But then, I, like I said, I go to, you know, I've like I mentioned, pawn shops, um, thrift stores, you know. Um, I have a head of a flea market. I need to, but, you know, to me, the best time to go to a flea market is usually around the weekend, like around Friday, Saturday. Because especially Saturday, because that's when everybody's out, and they have that's why they, everybody has everything out. But again, it just depends on the demographic of that area where you're gonna get the good stuff. And that goes for vinyl too. If you go looking for like soul records and things like that, you know you might want to go to a, a predominantly black neighborhood or things like that, or a major city. You know what I'm saying, inner city. You know things like that. So um, I thought, and also you know I go on eBay. I go on Amazon, I hit up um, Discogs, um, other places too. Oh, bookstores. Don't sleep on bookstores because there's some books, there's certain bookstores that be selling CDs too. So um, that's another tidbit to check out. But um, hopefully, this video, you know, definitely um, help you guys out. But like I said, Discogs, Amazon, eBay, um, you know, other websites that you guys can go to too as well but those three that's the ones i frequent the most you know if i'm not if i don't feel lazy and i want to get the rare rare rarest shit i just go on on um in those three um websites and yes yeah, some some cds are out of print and they go for a lot of money which in my opinion is fucking stupid and they come when it comes to hip-hop cds let me tell you that left <clears throat> yeah because like you know unfortunately you got a lot of fucking poses, a lot of hipsters that, you know, they see something that, you know, is popular because they know people want those CDs. So it's kind of like hype beast in a sense where, you know, they know that people want them shits, but, you know, they have to up the price to, you know, and, and that shit pisses me off, you know what I mean? Because, you know, it, it doesn't make, it's not fit for the people that have an experience, you know, of owning a CD, especially a CD that they want to want to listen to or own and shit like that. So, um, and that's why, and I'm kind of glad that people are not really into CDs because it makes me, people like me, get more than, than I need. Because there's so many CDs that I want to get, but a lot of CDs, like, you know, go for a lot of money. Like, a lot of the rap a lot stuff, like, um, 
especially the early stuff, you know, they usually go for a lot of money. Like, right now, my whole thing right now is trying to get a lot of, like, old school G-Funk from the early to mid-90s, as well as, like, down south hip-hop. And But a lot of those go for a lot of money. And, you know, a lot of those weren't really reissued like that. Some of them were, some of them weren't, you know. And um, rap lot has re-released some of their stuff, some of their catalog, but some of the stuff... Um, same with No Limit, which pissed me off is about them is that they'll like re release them, but they'll take away a couple of songs, which pisses me off. Like, why don't you just leave this shit the way it is? You know what I mean? Just, you know, you know, just the only thing you guys should do is just like up the quality, like the, the studio, like, you know, like, because a lot of those CDs back then were done on analog equipment, so you know, you know, it might be, you know, mono and stuff like that, so. That's my thing. I just wish they would, you know, just keep the original songs. Or if you're gonna add like bonus tracks or whatever, you know, re-release them shits. And and I'm glad like you know, um, Japan they started to re-release the um, certain CDs. Like a lot of West Coast albums they've been doing that, as well as some East Coast stuff too. But my only gripe with them, like for example, with the King T Act of Fool, the first album, you know, everything was in Japanese, and that kind of turned me off. You know what I mean? Like I just I wish they just kept the original. Booklet and how it was when it first came out in '88, but I was glad to own the album because you know the original copy goes for a lot of money. Um, same thing with a lot of rap a lot of albums, a lot of those go for like 80, 90, 100 bucks. So you know, I'm not spending that kind of money, but I just wish when it comes to hip hop, I wish they would um, re release them so people could actually enjoy getting those albums and things like that. But, um that's it, folks. Like I said, you go to flea markets, um, thrift stores, pawn shops, um, CD stores, um, like FYE music chains, music, st- music stores like FYE. Like I said, and that's another thing too. Check the um, the used the used new arrivals. Check those that section out. Check out the um, the 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 um, clearance section as well, and also check like the regular, you know genres like the rap section and a lot of times what they would do is like they would add they would mix the used albums with the new joints too so that's something to really think about um, to really consider too um flea markets like i said thrift stores and things like that pawn shops um even garage sales too i forgot to mention that too don't sleep on garage sales uh craigslist you know what i mean that's it folks Ho- hopefully that help you guys um and that's it, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed that. We guys get a lot of seeds like I have. I'm a small fish in a, I'm I'm just a small fish in a big pond compared to some people. But um, shout out to everybody for the support, man. Much love. Peace.